Next we're going to talk about uh, what we call the old lady's uh, belly button. Old lady. Uh, <laughs> and this is the flower right here. It has no flower but there's a seed pot and the old people use it for the different ailments that they have when they get older. I, I think it's arthritis or rheumatism would, would be good for it. I think that's what they use it for. Karishtapa. Which means uh, uh, my old lady's belly button. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know of, of anything else that they use for, mm -hmm. but you have to pick them fresh. They, there's, I don't know if they store it, but when, when they're fresh, that's when they use them. Well, we call this coneflower. It's Rudbeckia. Medicinally, it's used fresh for the treatment of sunburns and minor burns. That, to keep them from blistering. So that's the main thing I know for this use, uh, use for this plant. It's interesting to learn of, uh, the crow uses for it. For burns, you use the sap. You can squeeze it out of the bottom if it's fresh, or you can break off a leaf, mash up the leaf, and apply it right to a burn. It gets kind of gooey when you do that. And you can just put it, rub it right on the skin. You can also make uh, decoctions of this plant. That is, you put it in hot water and let it steep for a while. A hot water decoction of this can be used on burns and blisters also to keep them from getting serious. Also supposed to speed up the healing rate on most injuries. It's not quite mature yet, but <clears throat> it almost is. But that's the distinctive part of this plant and why it's called coneflower is that this seed, this flower head will grow up about twice this height before it stops growing and maybe get a little wider and then it turns purple. The whole flower head turns purple with little tiny yellow parts to the flower so it looks like speckled purple and it, it's very distinctive. One plant will have maybe uh, 8 to 15 of these flower heads on it that later go to seed and actually it's a, quite an ornamental plant. You can take the seeds off of this when they go to seed and take them home and put them in a flower patch and they'll grow really well. And I know people who do that. I do that.